It's the last MUTV group chat of the week. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're well on what is a rare, fantastic day in, in certainly most of the UK. Um, let's just confirm the good weather with Ben, actually, because obviously ben, it's always good weather with Ben. Let's just let's just confirm with Ben the good weather. Let's have a look at the background. Ben, there you go. Spot on, isn't it? There it is. Yeah, but I said it was going to be like this everywhere, and everybody's got it, aren't they? And Maisie, you're in a car. Where what, what, can you explain yourself? I'm a, a reddish fail, mate. Golf, golf course, um, teeing off at 11, so I thought I'd get here pretty early and do the prep for today's show. You know, always a professional, Stu, you know me. Yeah. Obviously not driving. No. Got here early and, uh, you know, got to, look, got to look after myself. Yeah. yeah, bit of exercise. Conditions look good as well today for the game? Conditions look great, yeah. Very calm today, so be bombing it down the fairways, of course. There you go. So are, you dri you are you driving, David? Is somebody driving you? Let's just say, no, you can no, already I'm hear uh, a voice from the ether is Paddy Crone, who I haven't even introduced yet. Oh, just just hold up. fire. Hold fire, Paddy. Hold fire. This is going to be chaotic. It's going to be absolutely bedlam. It's going to be bedlam today. I have actually, I have actually parked up. Obviously, you know, you can't yeah. um, drive no. and do video, so I've parked no. up. I'm at the golf uh, club now. Good. Now, just before we bring on our mystery guest, who you probably have no idea who it is, <laughs> um, <laughs> Just let's just look back on the show on Wednesday. Um, just some comments from social media, email as well that we just need to, to get through. Remember, we had Pally on the program on Wednesday. This one from Jatin, who said, I remember Pally's free kick in the final home game of the 92-93 season, becoming the final outfield player to score. What a great feeling. That was, that was an amazing moment. This one as well, great watching these chats. You guys don't seem to mention Axel when discussing defenders. Fair point that, but that's only because Axel's basically out for the rest of well, for the rest of the season. You know, he's out until the start of next season, which is which is a shame. But um, yeah, great talent, but he's, obviously this season's been wrecked by uh, injury for him. But hopefully, you'll see a lot more of Axel in the next campaign. This one from Lostella. Ben is like the character from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. The way he controls the weather, which is a Good great. Film. Film. If you've seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, it is great. Have you seen that, Ben? I have, yeah. Like a character from that, you do control the weather. So, uh, and this email as well, loving the group chats and the lads' opinions, hosted by the infallible Stu. And however, would a certain duo in the group like to explain the attached picture? And the attached picture is a fantastic shot of um, the Manchester United players going on a night out. Maisie's in Breaking it. Breaking off Wes is in it wearing the most, the most <laughs> appalling Stu. brown Stu, Stu. sleeve. How do you explain that? Wes, how do you explain that? See that top gear back then, mate. Absolutely top notch gear, mate. That was no. up there. Look at me, look how I'm walking. Look at the shoes I've got on. It was all in stride. I was happy. Happy oh. days. Yes. <laughs> yes, Snipes. How could you have gone out in public like that, mate? Come on. Oh, I was flying. Hey, what do you mean? That, Absolutely hey. flying. <laughs> That was it. Hey, what yeah, about Chaddy on the left-hand side of it? I know. He's, He's got his button the open. The Shermanator. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was yeah. a bit baggier then, Stu, as you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I and mean, you looked all right, Maisie, didn't you? Listen, I can, I, I'm, a, I'm a very smartly dressed man, Stu, as you yeah. can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. good. good. So, yeah, that was a, that was a famous picture. And, um, yeah. That where's his outfit though? Well, it's not outfit. the best. You, I, I have no. looked at it recently and gone, what the hell? But yeah. it happens, doesn't it? Do you, do you know what 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 was the occasion, or was it just a night out? Do you have any thought of why it happened, where it we was? Did, we didn't go out that often, um, like that. So I'm guessing it maybe Christmas. That's how right. Christmas do that, Snipes. Uh, yeah, Christmas. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you're wearing that at the Christmas do? Wow. Let's see what you've got on now. Let's just have a look. Just a t-shirt. Just a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, listen. Um, let's bring our guest today. He's already. You've already heard a bit of it. Um, but he, he joined us. You might remember for, for one of the lockdown versions of the show. I know you. You love to have him on. Um, it's not the, the most technologically easy thing for us to achieve, but we've managed to get the legendary Paddy Fern on again. Paddy, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm fine, actually, Stuart. Great to see all of you, in actual fact. Good well, to see you. I, yeah, I'm glad we've got you on now, Paddy, because about, about, if we had you on about six hours' time, your face would be red raw, wouldn't it? I know you're going to be sitting in the sun, you're going to be sitting in the sun aren't you, with no sun cream on today. 
Yeah, well, we, 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 who would buy? You couldn't sell sun cream in this country. When did we ever get the sun strong enough to worry about sun cream? <laughs> <laughs> most importantly, Paddy, how are you? How's it been going? How are you feeling? I'm bored, Stuart, like most people in actual fact. It's boring. You're sitting in the house. You can't do anything. There's no football. Oh, it's just awful. Awful. But, but the gyms are... I know you're a man who went to the gym every day. Yes. So during lockdown, yes. you couldn't. You must have been so frustrated. Yeah, it was, yeah. And it's, it's now opened again. I'm going straight after I finish talking to you lot. Oh, that's good. I'm straight See, into the gym. Straight into it. I like it. No, you, said this... pal, you know yeah. my pal, Vinny, the City yeah. fan? Yeah. Always, I mean, it's quite funny. I'm in the gym with him. He's got all the City gear on training. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite funny, actually. <laughs> You know, you said there's no football, but obviously there was loads of football every day for six weeks or so. Were you sitting in watching it every game? Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I think that's the most interesting thing. It's on television, actually, why it was the football. Well, it is for me. Yeah. And in the end, it worked out, Paddy. United in the top three. What did you make of it overall? I, I, it's great to see United in the top four, never mind the top three, Stuart. But at the end of the day, United should be fighting for the championship every season. This is Manchester United. This is not some dummy team from the back of beyond to get into the top half of the league and think we've made it. We should be fighting for the championship. Unfortunately, at the present moment in time, Liverpool and Manchester City are a few years ahead of us, and I mean years ahead of us. We have a long way to go to catch those two. Well, it... it, it... When you say that, though, Pat, a long way to go, what are you looking for in terms of ins over this summer? Are you, in, are you looking for a number of players to come in, certain players oh, to come in? What needs to be ask, done? You ask the lads earlier, you ask any Manchester United supporters, they'll be looking at the, who we're going to get in the, in the transfer market when it comes. I mean, the papers are, all I read in the papers every day is Jack Grealish. There's an MDLs out there. I mean, he's a good player, the lad. There's no question about that. But even this morning's paper, it's Jack Greeley. I think he's a little bit pro-United anyway, Jack Greeley. So I met him in Manchester, funny enough. After he came up to a City and United game at Main Road last season. I think United won one up the, the Main Road. Bloody hell, that's yeah. your <laughs> <laughs> Main Road. The City Stadium, in actual fact. Maybe he came up for the game and I met him afterwards in the middle of Manchester, and he likes Manchester. So would you, would you like him, and obviously all the talks about Sancho as well, Paddy? Yeah, top class player, but I mean, when Manchester, I mean, we don't know whether to believe half the stuff we read in the paper, so I look at the paper, I get the paper in the morning and read it, I look at the date, and if that's right, I think that's the, the closest they're ever going to get to the truth me anything in actual fact, because a lot of it, even more so today, is made up, I think, to a certain degree. Somebody's got a get a story from somewhere, all these lads that work for, for sport and television and the, the newspapers, they've got to get a story from somewhere. Why are you smiling? Well, no, no, you're just listening to you most of the last. So I, I saw Danny smiling widely there. Come on, Danny, I'll get you piled into Paddy. <laughs> I was just, now I was just smiling at the, the joke about the, the date on the, on the paper. Hey, <laughs> you've not lost any humour, Paddy, it's still sharp as. And you know, to be fair, Danny, I look at the dates and make sure I know what day of the week it is. <laughs> when you get a little bit older, you get stuck. Particularly now when there's no football. I mean, yeah. you knew a Saturday and a Sunday every week because of the football, but nowadays you don't know anything. Well, I, I find it a bit difficult anyway. I blend in one, don't yeah. it? Yeah. Let's get some questions in for Paddy then. Ben, go on, do you want to start? What can you fire at? Paddy, with all the, obviously with all the games that you've watched with, with Manchester United, and I agree with what you're saying. United do need to be fighting it out for the championship. But I think where they got to at the end, they did exceptionally well with that run of games. But from when they started against Spurs back in June, who was, who was sort of stuck out for you as being one of the, or a couple of the key performers that have got United to where they are? I can not like mention, you don't like mentioning players' names because sometimes... You see, I've this player's done fantastic. And the rest of them might get the needle with you thinking, well, what about me? So I think it's been a, a team effort more than anything else in actual fact. Although in the middle of the park, that, that, that obviously be an ex-midfield player, I think the middle of the park is a very, very important part of the team. Probably, I would be a little bit biased and say the most important part because you've got to help your defenders and you've got to help your attackers. So I think in the middle of the park, 
And you know who I'm talking about? It made a big, big difference in actual fact. Well, I don't know whether you're talking about Paul Pogba coming back or you're talking about Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Bruno Fernandes is terrific. And I think, I think we're going to have a great partnership there for many years with him and Paul, Paul Pogba. Yeah. Two top class players in actual fact. Once, one, from once. I, I, I would hopefully we get into the Champions League, but I would look forward to next season and think of, certainly about the Championship. United have got to win the league. They can't be up there all that long period of time and not win the Championship. A bit like Liverpool went all that 20 odd years before winning the league. We don't want to be like that. But it's a hell of a gap to, 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 to kind of close, Paddy, at the moment. You'd think they could, could, oh, with the right signings, they could go for it next year. Well, I'll, I'll, as I said earlier, so I look at Liverpool and City and they're way ahead of everybody in the league at the present moment in time. Very much ahead. I mean, the two managers they've got, they'll be quite happy to spend a few quid as well to, to improve their team. If, <laughs> if they can improve their team much better than what it is, because they're, they're two top class teams. Amazing. Uh, Paddy, I, I just want to ask you, obviously, it's a good few weeks now since lockdown got released. What was it like seeing the grandkids again? Get away from football. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't seen them for ages. And I mean, I've still not seen them. I've not seen them. I just see them. It's, it's, it's the great grandkids I don't see more than anything. My grandkids are not grandkids. My grandkids are in their 20s. So, so they're well, not kids. Grandkids. They, they can talk. <laughs> they can <make> <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said they're still your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for one or someone along the way, but most of them are girls, unfortunately. I don't, well, they could play for the, the, the women's team, but you, you never know. Was it, was, it, was, it good, was it good to see them, though? Oh, I, know, I, know it's, I know for, for an you old man like yourself. Have you got, I haven't yet, no, no. no but you, 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 loving your kids and all that is an absolutely fantastic thing, but when you see your grandkids, it, it's fantastic. How's Norma yeah. caught with you? Sorry? How, how, how's your missus? How's well, she... Um... Bloody Mallorca. <laughs> not supposed that getting... to be there. Her, not her she can daughter. go. The unfortunate thing, can she get back? <laughs> <laughs> I think she might have to, she might have to self-isolate either. with you, Paddy, for 10 <laughs> days when she gets back. Well, so, you yourself. My, my yeah. two sons come round, obviously they come round if there's a football match on, if it's any interest, they come round to watch the games with me. And the language sometimes, the language is disgraceful. In fairness, Pat, she has to self-isolate when you locked her in the conservatory, didn't she? So it might be, <laughs> <laughs> it might be something that. similar. You know, that's quite a few years ago, that. <laughs> I was, I, I was never... sitting I can remember what day it was. I've obviously had a few glasses of wine. I forgot she was in there because we have a television in the Conservative. My wife's not interested in football whatsoever. She couldn't tell you a uh, half pack full, but she wouldn't have a clue what any of them are. So she doesn't watch football. So she's got her own television. And I, I forgot one night, and I obviously locked the Conservative. I forgot she was in there. <laughs> the worst <laughs> thing about it was, she had to open the back door and go out of a pee in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear it. <laughs> That's lovely, wouldn't it? Oh god! <laughs> this is for that day, wouldn't you? <laughs> Brilliant. I, I, I look back. Where, oh it. god! Yeah, sorry. Where's you save us from this? Where's can you? Nah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Paddy, I was going to ask. I know we changed the subject. But yeah. Apart from um, Jack Grealish, who in the Premier League do you think is capable of um, strengthening the team? If you were looking to buy a player, but from Premier League, I, th- I think there's a few good players. I, I think the Premier League at the present moment is very, very good. Actually, I think there's a lot of terrific players there. The kid at West Ham would be one you would be thinking about as well. Right, that Declan Rice, yeah, very good player as well. I mean, where, where, would, would you go to young where, where, where would you think he'd fit in? I think he could play as a back four player as a midfield player. I mean, he's played both of those positions for West Ham. I think he'd be equally content now. I mean, I'm saying that the midfield of Manchester United at the present moment and the back four of Manchester United at the present moment, if we're listening to this programme, wouldn't be too happy with me saying 
De Declan Rice. Because you're talking about somebody being left out for somebody else coming in. But I think, if, 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 if I'm saying that thing and people in the media, people hinting about things like that, if you're a player for Manchester United, Dave, you'd be going out the pitch thinking, I'm going to prove these so-and-sos that I'm the one that's going to be playing here. If you, you, you've got to have that attitude. I'm going to make sure if Declan Rice is a great deal of mention in the media, and actually, quite, I don't know whether it's true or not about what they're saying in the media, but if I was a player at Manchester United, I'd be thinking, oh, yeah, but I'm going to go out in that pitch and prove that I'm better than him. So that, yeah. I think that would be a challenge to players as well, the fact that when players do get a mention in the media, it's good for competition. Yeah, exactly, Dave. It's, it's my position. I'm going to make sure he's not going to take my position. Yeah, exactly. I want to ask you, Paddy, what do you make of the impact of Mason Mason Greenwood? Sure. I saw him as a kid. I, I, I live not very far from the training ground, and I used to go down on a Saturday morning and watch the kids play, and he stood out like a sore thumb. You don't like to give... You don't like to talk about kids at that age... You know, you just don't want to see anything to make them think they're better than they are and all that sort of thing. But that kid's special. I mean, you get every generation somewhere along the way, there's an outstanding player at Manchester United come through the ranks, and I think he's one of them. I hope he's not listening to this programme and get carried away with himself, but he is, he's got it all, Stuart. He's, the great thing about him, who knows his natural foot? And the great thing about it is a brain to go whistle, which I think is so important, particularly if you're playing as the link up between the midfield and the front two. I think he's a top class player, the kid. Got a great future ahead of him as long as he doesn't get carried away with it. As long as he gets a kick up the backside now and again to make him realise that he's not there yet. Who yeah. had the brains in your position, Paddy? Pardon? Who had the brains in your position? position? Oh, me by a mile. <laughs> Dave, to be fair, and actually fine, I'm, I'm saying that with and laughing. But I was never the quickest, so people will tell you that. But if you're never the quickest, you have to be able to do other things. Yeah. You know, you read the game a little bit better and all that sort of thing. Because if you've got people that have got pace, they've never had to think. You just run by people and... <laughs> I, 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 I know what you're saying. You didn't pace either, did he? David, <laughs> But see, you do, you get, if, you can get, if you can get the two of them together, pace and football brains, Cristiano Ronaldo had it in abundance. It wasn't, yeah. George Best had it in abundance for those that don't, wouldn't remember, or would not seen George play, but players like that, players like that. And I'll tell you, if you're a player, particularly if you're a forward player, you're dependent on other players more than anybody else. If I'm in the middle of the park, I'm close to my defence and all that sort of thing. But if you're up front, you need service. You need service. So important for players up front because you can be a striker, a player alongside the strike, well, two strikers together. If you don't get any service, you can be stood up there, God knows, that two dummies there every week. You need people to help you out. Andy, what do you think about what Ollie has managed to do, particularly in the second half of the season? Because at the end of, at the end of January, it looked unlikely, the top four. It looked unlikely and then... Absolutely an incredible. Run. Absolutely yeah. incredible in actual fact. The great thing about it, the fans have got, got, got involved as well, which is very, very important for footballers on the pitch. The fans get involved. All he's loved by the fans. He's, what he'd done for Manchester United was incredible. Nobody will ever forget the European Cup final. But he'd done a lot more things than just the European Cup final. Although everybody talked about the goal in the European Cup final. He's a terrific player for Manchester United. And well respected by... All the fans love him. All the fans love him. Uh, are you missing Old Trafford, Paddy? When it, when's it going to be normal again? When it, when 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 are things going to be back to normal? When, you, you're well, missing if you it. ask those idiots that run the country, they have no idea what they're doing. So how am I going to know when we're going to get back to where we were? <laughs> I, honestly, I'm, I'm, are we going to get back to that? I'm not so sure. I don't know. Well, I'll live to see it. I'm not so sure about that either. I think it could take four or five years. Everybody's talking oh, about But in that case, you could be struggling. I think, yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, at the present moment in time, Stuart, I wouldn't go into a crowded shop. Nobody no. would want to go into a crowded shop with me in, but I wouldn't go into a crowded shop. I mean, I'm, I'm glad the way things are going at the present moment in time, that the shops are just allowing a certain number of people in, which is the right thing to do. 
But it's very, very difficult if you're a football fan of any football club and you can't go to the match. That, that's what everybody looks forward to at the weekend when it's a Saturday or a Sunday now. Going to the match, you meet up with your pals, you have a drink, you have a laugh, and it's great camaraderie, all that stuff. But that's all gone. It's all gone at the moment. The thing you miss most about, about it all is, is the fun you have with each other. The, 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 I mean, football's a great game for everybody to take the mickey out of one another. I mean, you're football fans. What's better, Dave, than to go into a football or to go into a pub afterwards and six or seven of you sat around the table? Do you think the six or seven of you are all going to agree with each other? If you, if, if you agreed with each other, you wouldn't go back the next week, would you? You like to have arguments and opinions and you could have seven or ten people sat around the table and we're not all going to agree with each other. Paddy, you don't need got no any. mates. Yeah, but that's part of the fun. That's part <laughs> of the fun of it. <laughs> Were there, were, there it's arguments, coming from were there arguments in your pub, I wouldn't Paddy? wear dark glasses like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, were, were there lively debates in your pub, Paddy, when you, were, when you ran a pub? Yeah, what, sorry? Were there lively debates in the pub that you were oh, All the time. Ran? All the time. It was full of Manchester United fans, and it was, it was brilliant, actually. It was brilliant. The, 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 I mean... What ex footballer footballer would agree with fans? Very few of them. Very few of them. So it would be it would be great fun. Yeah, very easy to, in a certain degree to wind football fans up. Very easy in actual fact to get them a little bit of a go at each other. Not not in a nasty way, verbally. And you were able to get Robbo to come down to the pub as well. That would have helped. Wouldn't Robbo it? used to come down. I mean, Robbo come down in in, in Norman Whiteside. Paul McGrath came in a few times, but it was an, they only came on a Saturday or a Sunday. They were never there during the week or anything like that. And people always thought, oh, they've got problems with booze. And that wasn't true. I only saw them at the weekend. But the great thing about when you had a pub at that time, and other than when I had the pub in Oxford, it's a Manchester United area. Can you imagine the minute they had Robo or not? The pub was packed. Packed. The, 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 the best, best people that could possibly come in. And God bless this old Matt came in a few times, actually. And you can imagine when it spread about that he was in the place, the place went potty. He came in a couple of times, Matt. It's, it's great to see you. I hope you're, I hope you're staying great well, you won't you? you? I, I wish I would see you in the flesh more than just yeah. looking. Well, maybe it's better off looking at it this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, look after yourself, won't you? Yeah? Yeah, you all do. Lovely to talk to you, all of you. Yeah. See you, Paddy. Nice to see you, Paddy. Thank, Thank you, Paddy. Paddy. The sooner I see you, all the better. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Take care of yourself, Pat. It's great to see you. Cheers. Cheers. Paddy Crone joining us. A uh, unique character, MUTV at manunited.co.uk. That's pretty much us done for this Friday. We'll be back on Monday. We'll be looking ahead to the, the LASK game, which is next Wednesday yeah, in, in the Europa League. Well, enjoy, boys, and we'll see you. Let's reconvene on Monday. Cheers, lads. Have a nice weekend, Bye. boys. Take care, boys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.